the moon, a shimmering pearl in the vast cosmic ocean, a silent guardian watching over us for millennia. It has captivated humanity since the dawn of time, its ethereal glow, its ever-changing phases, its influence on our planet, all spark a sense of wonder and curiosity. What secrets does this celestial neighbor hold? What stories could it tell if it could speak? For centuries, the moon has been a source of inspiration for artists, poets, and dreamers. It has fueled countless myths and legends, each culture weaving its own narrative around its presence. Ancient civilizations looked up at the moon with awe and reverence, considering it a deity, a symbol of hope, or a celestial timekeeper. But the moon is more than just a pretty face in the night sky. It plays a crucial role in the stability of our planet, influencing tides, seasons, and even the length of our days. Its gravitational pull keeps Earth from wobbling on its axis, ensuring a relatively stable climate. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the moon, we'll uncover fascinating tales of scientific discovery, human ambition, and the enduring allure of the cosmos. Join me on this journey as we explore the untold history of our celestial companion, a journey that will challenge our assumptions and ignite our imaginations. What mysteries do you think we'll uncover along the way? And long before the advent of telescopes and space probes, our ancestors sought to understand the moon through stories and myths. These tales were not just simple stories, but were deeply embedded in the cultural and spiritual fabric of ancient societies. Every culture, from the Egyptians to the Mayans, from the Greeks to the Aboriginals, developed its own unique mythology around this celestial object. These myths were often used to explain natural phenomena and the mysteries of the universe that were otherwise inexplicable at the time. These stories, passed down through generations, reflect humanity's enduring fascination with the moon and its place in the cosmos. Around campfires and in ancient temples, storytellers would weave tales that connected the moon to the very essence of life and existence. The ancient Egyptians, for instance, worshipped the moon god Thoth, who was associated with wisdom, writing, and magic. Thoth was believed to be the divine mediator who maintained the universe's balance and harmony. They believed that Thoth controlled the lunar phases and used his power to regulate time and the flooding of the Nile. The lunar calendar was crucial for agricultural planning and religious festivals, making Thoth an essential deity in their daily lives. For the Greeks, the moon was personified by the goddess Artemis, the twin sister of Apollo, the sun god. Artemis was revered not only as a huntress but also as a protector of women and children. Artemis was associated with the hunt, wilderness, and childbirth, reflecting the moon's perceived influence on nature and fertility. Her connection to the moon symbolized the cyclical nature of life and the rhythms of the natural world. In many cultures, the moon was seen as a mirror, reflecting the cycles of life, death, and rebirth. This symbolism was prevalent in rituals and ceremonies that marked the passage of time and the transitions of life stages. The waxing and waning of the moon became powerful symbols of change, growth, and renewal. Ancient calendars were often based on lunar cycles, emphasizing the moon's role in marking time and seasons. These ancient beliefs, though rooted in mythology, demonstrate a deep connection between humans and the celestial realm. Philosophers and astronomers of the time pondered the moon's mysteries, laying the groundwork for future scientific exploration. They remind us that our fascination with the cosmos is not a modern phenomenon, but rather an intrinsic part of what it means to be human. Ancient observatories and star maps show that our ancestors were keen observers of the night sky. But how did these ancient civilizations explain the moon's phases? They crafted elaborate stories to make sense of the moon's changing appearance often attributing it to the actions of gods or supernatural beings. What did they think caused its silvery glow? Some believed it was a reflection of the sun's light, while others thought it was a mystical light of its own, imbued with magical properties. These early interpretations, though scientifically inaccurate, reveal a profound sense of wonder and a deep desire to understand the workings of the universe. Stargazers and scholars of the past laid the foundation for the astronomical discoveries that would come centuries later. They serve as a testament to humanity's enduring quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. The moon, with its ever-changing face, has always been a source of inspiration and curiosity. What other ancient stories about the moon have you heard? These myths and legends continue to captivate us, reminding us of our shared heritage and the timeless allure of the moon.
As centuries passed, the rise of science and reason began to challenge ancient myths. The moon, once a symbol of mystery and myth, started to be seen through the lens of scientific inquiry. Scholars and astronomers started to view the moon not just as a celestial object of wonder, but as a subject of scientific inquiry. They began to question its nature, its composition, and its place in the cosmos. Early astronomers, armed with rudimentary telescopes, meticulously charted the moon's surface, mapping its craters, mountains, and vast plains. These early maps, though primitive, laid the foundation for future lunar studies. One of the most significant breakthroughs came with Galileo Galilei in the 17th century. His observations marked a turning point in our understanding of the moon and the broader universe. Using his improved telescope, Galileo observed the moon's rugged terrain, challenging the prevailing belief that celestial bodies were perfectly smooth spheres. His detailed sketches revealed a world far more complex than previously imagined. He identified craters, mountains, and what he believed were seas, forever changing our understanding of the moon's nature. These observations were revolutionary, sparking debates and further studies among scholars of his time. These early observations sparked a wave of scientific curiosity. Scholars and scientists began to gather, sharing their findings and theories about the moon. What was the moon made of? How did it form? These questions became central to the scientific discourse of the era. Was it a world like ours, capable of supporting life? The possibility of lunar life intrigued many, leading to imaginative theories and speculative writings. These questions fueled further exploration and laid the groundwork for the scientific advancements that would eventually lead us to the moon's surface. The pursuit of these answers drove technological innovations and collaborative efforts across the scientific community. The development of powerful telescopes and new astronomical techniques allowed scientists to study the moon in unprecedented detail. These advancements provided clearer images and more accurate data, deepening our understanding of our celestial neighbor. They calculated its size, mass, and distance from Earth with remarkable accuracy. These precise measurements were crucial for planning future missions and understanding the Moon's influence on Earth. These discoveries, though seemingly incremental, were crucial steps in unraveling the Moon's secrets and paving the way for humanity's eventual journey to its surface. Each finding built upon the last, creating a cumulative body of knowledge that would support future explorations. But how did we go from observing the moon from afar to actually landing on it? The journey from early telescopic observations to the historic moon landing was a testament to human curiosity, ingenuity, and determination. It was a journey that spanned centuries, driven by the relentless pursuit of knowledge and the desire to explore the unknown. The mid-20th century witnessed an unprecedented era of technological advancement, culminating in one of humanity's greatest achievements, landing on the moon. This period was marked by rapid progress in various fields, from computing to materials science, all converging to make space exploration possible. The space race, fueled by Cold War rivalry, spurred both the United States and the Soviet Union to push the boundaries of science and engineering. This intense competition led to remarkable innovations and breakthroughs, as each nation sought to outdo the other in a display of technological prowess and national pride. On July 20, 1969, the world watched in awe as American astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin took their first steps on the lunar surface. This moment was broadcast live to millions of viewers around the globe, uniting humanity in a shared experience of wonder and achievement. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, Armstrong famously declared, etching those words into the annals of history. His statement encapsulated the monumental significance of the event, highlighting both the individual bravery of the astronauts and the collective effort of thousands of people who made the mission possible. The Apollo 11 mission marked a turning point in human history, demonstrating our ability to reach beyond our planet and explore the cosmos. It was a testament to human ingenuity, perseverance, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. The Apollo missions brought back a treasure trove of lunar samples, providing invaluable insights into the moon's composition, origin, and evolution. These samples have been studied extensively over the decades, revealing secrets about our nearest celestial neighbor that were previously unknown. Scientists analyzed these samples, discovering evidence of ancient volcanic activity, meteorite impacts, and the moon's surprising lack of a global magnetic field. 
These findings have helped to piece together the Moon's geological history and its dynamic processes. These findings revolutionized our understanding of the Moon's formation and its relationship to Earth. The data collected has provided a clearer picture of the early solar system and the events that shaped our planet and its satellite. The Apollo program, however, was not without its challenges and controversies. The missions faced numerous technical difficulties, and the astronauts had to overcome significant risks to achieve their goals. Some questioned the cost and the risks involved in such a daring endeavor. Critics argued that the vast sums of money spent on space exploration could have been used to address pressing issues on Earth, such as poverty, education, and healthcare. Others argued that the money could be better spent addressing problems here on Earth. The debate highlighted the tension between the desire to explore and the need to solve immediate human problems. Yet, the legacy of the Apollo missions continues to inspire generations of scientists, engineers, and dreamers. The achievements of the Apollo program have left an indelible mark on human history, serving as a reminder of what we can accomplish when we dare to dream big and work together. But what happened after Apollo? The program set the stage for future space exploration, paving the way for new missions and discoveries. The knowledge and experience gained from Apollo have been instrumental in the development of subsequent space programs. Did we simply plant a flag and leave? The answer is no. The Apollo missions laid the groundwork for continued exploration, and their legacy lives on in the ongoing quest to understand our universe and our place